Hey, it's Matt here. Welcome to my tutorial on Book Creator for iPad. Fantastic app, very useful for education. So let's uh, get started here. Uh, your iPad will probably look something like this if you haven't used it before. And we're just going to start off a new book by pressing the good old plus button. So we'll go a new book. And we'll get to this page. So you get three choices here of portrait, square, and landscape. Just choose as you will for different styles. Um, today we're going to do landscape. Start with a blank page here. Uh, you've got your options up in the top right hand side and first of all we're going to add a title. Um, so let's bring down and I'll add text. Now I'm just going to add in the text here simple uh, about our trip to the zoo. Let's type that in nice and easily. And return when I'm done. We're done. Now it looks pretty boring. Uh, I can stretch that out. Um, you can grab, move it around, two fingers you can twist, so just two fingers on your iPad, you can change the angle. Highlighted in, highlight in blue, we can go up into the eye section and we can modify it here. So at the moment I've just put it in centered. Uh, still pretty boring, uh, so make sure whenever you try to adjust something, you've got it highlighted in the blue box at the moment, nothing. Now I highlight it in blue, click on the eye, and we've got all the extra options. So we can go through here now and we can start modifying the font size, the font type, the color, how it's centered, where it's positioned. So we'll go through, um, just have a quick scout for some fonts. Um, just go with good old Apple Gothic. Everyone loves Apple Gothic. And we'll size it up a bit. Yeah, that's looking better. And we'll just move it around according to our page. Now next thing we're gonna do is add a photo. Uh, these are just some photos of my own, so they're on my camera roll, um, and what I'm going to do is make it uh, fit the whole page eventually, so we'll just choose a photo for now. A uh, little lemur from the open enclosure at Melbourne Zoo, and we'll just play with this. You can just grab the blue dots in the corners to shrink it, center it, do as you will, but uh, this time around I'm actually going to make it fit the whole page, so just moving it back and forth and stretching it until it fits the whole page, and then I'm just going to get it in position to where I want it. You can still see the edge of the page there. All right, there's my lemur, and I'm going to actually tap I again, and down the bottom it says move back to front. So I'm going to put it to the back there, so now it sits behind the font. Okay, and then I can move the font around again. If it's too not contrasty enough, I can change the color. So we'll just go into color. Make sure the box for the writing is highlighted in blue, of course. Otherwise it won't modify. And, you know, just choose a color that might be a bit more appropriate. Or whatever finds your fancy. It's alright, sort of fits with it, not too hard to read. Now the next big thing, uh, great thing about this app we're going to do is the sound effects. Okay, so we're going to come down and we're going to go add sound. It says start recording, it's going to drop out for a moment, it's going to go out of the screen, so let's have a look. Okay, have a look there, there we go, add sound. And that button, just press that and it will play back any sound you've recorded. So you might have the kids recording their voice over the top, it might be a teacher directed, you could even use it as an assessment piece if you wanted to, to, to get the kids to record their own voices in a book for you. Okay, and that's the front page of our book pretty much there. Uh, I'm going to use the pen now just to sign off on it. pen's great for drawing, signatures, anything at all you can imagine with a pen. So I'm just going to put my name down in there. Uh, sign off on the book, it's my own creation. What's great is how you can actually shrink any writing you've done. So right now it's quite sizable. You know, writing on the iPad can be a little tricky and a bit illegible. So I'm going to... Nice and big and then I'm going to shrink it back, just chuck it over there. Beautiful and tidy. And that's our first page, our cover page. So let's move on to another page now. I'm just going to take that arrow. Yep, beautiful. Now we're on a new blank page. So I'm just going to do a repeat of what we did before. Plus, photo, choose another picture. Got that baboon mate here, and we'll shrink him back a bit. Good looking fella. Now I'm going to add some text in again. All right. Type that one in. Remember, you can also angle your uh, writing here by using two fingers to change the angle if you want. I'm going to stretch this out a bit more and modify it a bit. Um, yeah, we'll go black. Maybe we'll change the color of the page in a moment too. So just tapping away. See how none of the picture or the writing had, neither the picture or the writing had the uh, blue box. We chose the color of the page now. All right, and there's the next page. Easy as that. And of course, you can add sound. Um, racing along here. You can just add in another picture for another page. Yeah, you can keep going. So don't forget to get your kids uh, adding in their own voices. You, know, you can have music playing over the top too. Another blue. 
Those were very pretty, and they were. And of course, you may not like the black there, I didn't, so let's uh, modify that around a little bit, put it in white. Yep, yeah, that's nice and easy to read. Same font as before, it remembers, which is beautiful. But it's a nice full page picture. Okay. And now, what we can do is actually test our book. And we can open it in quite a number of apps to share it, to view it in other fonts. We're going to go into iBooks. First of all, we'll go back to the main menu here. So we'll just go My Books, top left. And we're actually going to give the book a name. That way it actually has a, a file name as well. So we tap down the bottom and we're going to go down to Title, the new book. So I'll just call it uh, Zoo. And put in my name. It's the author. Great for the kids to uh, seek ownership of their work. And press Done. You can also delete the book from this menu too. So it's just down the bottom middle button there. And we'll go back into the book just by tapping it and the top right little arrowhead button. We're going to tap that and we're going to open this in iBooks in a moment so that we can um, view it. But don't forget you can also save it with file browser, share with Edmodo, chuck it into Dropbox. So now it opens in iBooks. This is great because everything, the editing goes away, but now you can fully read your book as if it was a real book. You can tap on the sound effects, you can zoom, you can pinch. Uh, if you had some videos in your book, don't ever forget, you can always put videos in which is fantastic, interactive. Um, and it just looks beautifully presentable. Now if we go back into our uh, book creator, we can also look at some other options like emailing our work um, as an EPUB, so that has all the content, all the electronic content. Okay, so if you choose that. A lot of books won't do this through email if they get too big with videos, but the average book can be sent by email and it will still have all the sound and interactive content. And then of course you can export it as a PDF, which is great, especially when you want to print it, hard copies in your classroom, you know, really get the kids going, being proud about their work. And that's the basics of Book Creator. Thank you.